one of the uh, immediate results of truly understand the concept of reincarnation is that the fear of death disappears because now you know death is just a transition you know not nobody dies we just transition from the physical plane to the spiritual plane we all continue to move forward uh, we all meet those we have love either in the spiritual plane or again in the material plane so it this concept, Chris, doesn't, doesn't lift the burden. It changes completely how we see the burden. Right. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. I like the gym analogy just because I've actually been kind of, I, I've always subscribed and I've, I've been working out for, for a long time. And I've always subscribed to the idea that basically when you go to the gym, you're supposed to completely exhaust yourself as much as you possibly can. And that's how you grow the most. I've recently been reading that that may not be true, that actually that that may be counterproductive and instead you should not go to failure and you should um, keep like stay lifting within the range that you're the strongest. And when you start to fatigue, that's actually when you should stop. You shouldn't push yourself further because you're just putting an unnecessary overburden on your on your body. And so I was thinking with the concept of reincarnation, we, we almost have the same situation where if suffering is an opportunity and that it makes you better, are you supposed to seek suffering and you're supposed to beat up your body as much as you possibly can and suffer as much as you possibly can so that you're making the most of your life and so that you're going to rise the most? Does that make sense or is, is that counterproductive? There were individuals in the past, Chris, that believed that actually cultivating suffering itself, that elevated the individual to a different level, to a different spiritual level. That's not true at all. Suffering for suffering does not create any evolution, any progress. When we know how to overcome painful situations, when we have the right perception of what hardships are, it's not that we're welcoming hardships and pain and suffering. It's our understanding of it changes uh, the way we experience it. It's not that I'm going to be happy if something bad happens to me. What I would definitely do, knowing and truly understanding that I have multiple physical existences, whenever painful happens to me, I would definitely avoid despair. What is despair, Chris? Despair, it's my belief that my tomorrow will be worse than today. And if I believe, Chris, that my tomorrow will be actually worse than today, what am I going to do today? I'm just going to go nuts. And, and this is where people commit suicide, for example, because the pain is so intense that they want to run away from the pain. It's a state of desperation. Now, if I know reincarnation, I'm not welcoming pain, but if I have to face pain, I, I face with resilience and I persist in overcoming that painful situation because I know that's not against me. I know that is to work on my benefit. Just the same way someone who works out in the gym, they are choosing the heavier weights because they want to grow their muscles. I am not at all an expert on this, but I believe the goal, whenever someone exercises, since we're going to keep on the analogy of going to the gym, <laughs> is that when you exercise, you, you're trying to break your muscle. You're stretching your muscle to, to almost breaking point. And, and that's, you do that by lifting the weights. And then you go home and you rest. And while you're resting, by eating the right food, by adding the right fuel into your body, uh, the proteins are being replaced, are replenishing the muscles that have been broken. And now you have a bigger muscle. So utilizing mm -hmm. this concept, you go through painful situations and hardships in life, and then you disincarnate. In other words, you leave the flesh. And now you are in the spiritual plane. Depending on how you have lived your life, this is the resting period of the gym analogy. And then you get all sorts of knowledge in the spiritual plane for you to better yourself in your next reincarnation. That's the nourishment in the uh, gym analogy. And then you go back 
and you're actually stronger than the day before. So you're actually wiser than the day before, than the reincarnation before you last.